In 2003, the Columbia Space Shuttle blew up during re-entry and seven astronauts lost their lives. What is not well known is that some of the microorganisms on board the space shuttle survived. Columbia you know, was a mission that effectively broke up over a multi-state area. And inside of some of those pieces you know, were experiments that had been flown for biological purposes. And in at least one of those experiments, the organism survived the trip. So it, the Columbia accident was a tragedy that involved not only the melting of a, a wing, but the physical dismantling of a shuttle. Uh, it's a very interesting you know, fact that things falling from high up on the Earth can survive. All scientists now agree that microorganisms can survive extraordinary conditions, be it radiation, extreme cold, extreme heat, extreme impacts. Most space scientists also believe that the solar system almost certainly contains other life forms and are very, very keen to find them. And a few scientists are convinced that certain meteorites contain the remains of life. Putting all the evidence together, Chandra believes that this is how life on Earth began in the first place. It arrived on the back of a comet 3.8 billion years ago. Life did not start here on the Earth. We came in ready-packaged genetic bits and pieces from space. 